report shows the effect of the boluses that the patient has taken for their meals as breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then boluses taken over the overnight time period. It shows you the time, so there's a default setting that can be fixed to what you would like for an individual patient. The number of boluses, the carb ratio with that time period, the average amount of carbs, and then the average bolus size in units of insulin. I think you can appreciate that we zero in these boluses. This is all from what's occurred inside the bolus wizard. You can look at the hour time period preceding the bolus and then the uh, multiple hours after the bolus. You can take a look at whether or not the glucose value is perhaps already rising at the time of the bolus, perhaps indicating that the patient may not be bolusing before they start their meals, in which case you would like to counsel them on that. As always, we'd expect some rise from the postprandial absorption of the meal glucose, and then you'd expect it to be back down to baseline. It's important to notice that the 70 milligram per deciliter shifts up as a result of we want to see kind of a rise of glucose from the meal. And although this looks as if it's hypoglycemia, it's actually not below the 70 milligram per deciliter mark. And I think you can use this report to discuss carbohydrate counting, timing of the meal, assessing your ability to perhaps reevaluate and reset the carbohydrate ratios by different time buckets and assure that the meals are being handled appropriately.